Lie to me one more time. Lie. No. Keep lying. I need some tea. There is literally so much drama on Deal or No Deal Island, and the deal is bigger than ever as competitors can win over $200 million. So the show starts off with 13 contestants competing together to take down the banker. Each week there's challenges where you win certain briefcases. And if you get the highest number briefcase, you get to make a lot of decisions and get immunity. And if you get the lowest number briefcase, you're in trouble and potentially up for elimination. The cast has two celebrities, Survivor contestant Boston Rob and Deal or No Deal model Claudia Jordan. I'm not surprised that Rob is dominating in all the challenges. And I'm also not surprised that Claudia is slicing and dicing with all her shade. But I will say Alyssa is giving Claudia some run for her money because her confessionals are quite literally ruthless. Especially towards Kim, who a lot of people are coming for. I don't know why Kim thought it would be a good idea to challenge Rob and Claudia. Like, babe, I watch them on TV too, but we need to be a little bit more careful. That last challenge, they all were trying to come for her and get her eliminated. But Stephanie was the one who was battling with peer pressure and doing what she really wants to do, which is to come for the OGs and take out King Boston Rob. I cannot imagine if he wins this show. Like, are these people really gonna be wrapped around his finger yet again? I mean, I kinda am as a viewer, but I also am so obsessed with the bromance between Aaron and Boston Rob. The challenges are so fun to watch and the deal is bigger than ever. Make sure to tune in Mondays at 10, 9 central on NBC and streaming on Peacock. Let me know all your thoughts on Deal or No Deal Island in the comments down below.